I tried it. I hated it. Real restricted, you couldn't turn your head. But the Hans device, no question in my mind, that's been maybe the greatest safety innovation for saving lives that we've ever seen. It's a yoke that goes over the driver's shoulders and there are straps that connect to the helmet. And basically it helps protect the neck during an impact. It's meant to take away that snapping forward and trying to jerk your head off your shoulders. In 1981, Patrick Jockmart went off track at mid-Ohio and hit a dirt bank and he died instantly of a basilar skull fracture. Clearly it was an injury mechanism that was occurring in racing elsewhere and we were worried that uh, many other racers uh, might be killed this way. So I came up with the concept of the Hans device. From the very beginning, testing devices in the lab, we needed to get the right pieces of equipment at the right place at the right time. So logistics has always been important. Somewhere around 1990, they started a company and they started selling these devices, but nobody bought them. Everybody resisted it. Drivers are used to being able to move around in the car. You know, think about Oren Hart. He used to lean all the way. He'd have his head hanging out the window. And with this thing on, you couldn't you couldn't move your head in. You were stuck. You couldn't get in and out of the car. It wouldn't fit in the seat at all. Well, one of the big problems we had was getting the shape right so, to fit in the confined cockpits. And we did a lot work with the drivers to make sure that they could wear different size drivers in different cars and different seating posture. This just shows that effective logistics are very valuable. From the original Hans to what we wear today, it was a huge difference. The Hans device does protect drivers from the basilar skull fracture that they were receiving in these hard impacts. And in 2002, it was mandated. I can honestly, clearly say without a doubt that it saved many lives in, in just our sport alone. It looks pretty simple, but it's very advanced in what it does. It's just one of those simple but very effective devices that does exactly its job. As the companies develop as a viable international organization, then we have to have an efficient communication and shipping network. UPS is the primary company that we go to for that. It's a lot of people, a lot of people doing a lot of different things, and you have to have coordinated logistics to get it all together and make it happen. I'm Dr. Bob Hubbard, and I love logistics. Visit the new logistics.com slash sports medicine and see how UPS helps keep athletes in the game.